absolutely so use the recommendation part see who is recommending use some of the statements which has been used for him for his personality for his business say hey i really admire you know your profile i saw your uh, structure i'm really a big fan and you know so i love what people are talking about you especially they're saying that you're so and so so it sounds a little long but it, when it's praising someone no it's not long for him yeah, exactly. He's, give me more give me more <laughs> we don't stop right बस करो यार बस करो <laughs> बस करो यार रुलाएगा क्या अभी राइट सो डू दैट वन मोर ग्रेट अकॉम्पलिशमेंट्स अगेन लुक आई डू नॉट डू थरो रिसर्च टू फाइंड दिस प्रोफाइल ओके आई जस्ट टू माई डेट हुए आई सो आई जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इट एंड आई सो इस प्रोफाइल एंड दिस हाउ इट इज राइट सो इट्स नॉट लाइक ओ ऐसा प्रोफाइल नहीं मिलता है सो मेनी प्रोफाइल लाइक दिस राइट सो आई जस्ट पिक अप एनी रैंडम एन आई founded so honors and awards if it is recent yeah it's good probably 2011 you might have forgotten also that i was awarded <laughs> i don't really <laughs> am i so great <laughs> yeah so start by saying if it is recent they start by hey first of all congratulations you know i saw that you won this award i'm amazing how did it all happen <laughs> i'm surprised <laughs> Are you so good? <laughs> okay. Yeah, and if you if you have language known, you know, you can start with good morning, right? Good morning, you know it, right? Good morning, right? It's not that we can speak. Google Translator. Google Translator. Use it, man. Yeah, you have so many tools. Yeah. So start with that. Good morning. Hey, John. Are you different now? You're different, right? How many will start with you know calling? Hey, good morning. Especially from India, nobody will say. <laughs> good ke mar jao. <laughs> he's, he's, he's has got one patent also so see there's so many things and some of sometimes it's interest area also will give you something let's look at some other profile in case if you think i'm choosy one more anthony james is executive director igniting and commercializing transformation i don't know what that means so yeah this also is a good part the summary which they have written okay so when so would you want to call somebody without knowing anything about the person or would you prefer that i know what that person is all about i would prefer the other way around right why should i go call cold when i know there is something which he has written now he is proactively coming and giving it to me and i'm not leveraging it i means i'm stupid <laughs> right so you need to use all these things he is part of cxos great face recognition right so he is he is written something. again same thing start with that hey i saw your article on face recognition and i completely agree and i found it really funny fried chicken part <laughs> right yeah so great great guy see chief innovation growth officer director marketing strategy he's got complete history there articles in different places puji to education sydney can we open some in profile yeah sure yes absolutely yeah i understand there's some good writing so much yeah you have any name in anything book pick up your and my name <laughs> <laughs> let's just check she is she's not a trainer but yours is more b2b right you see also what exactly is the product i in it is we work for uh, Okay, technology training, okay. all sort of training. Okay, Java, C plus plus, and development, everything. Okay. And uh, specifically B two C for SME. Okay, but a person has to be somewhat relevant to technology or something, right? Ah, uh, learning and development. Training managers. Training managers. Training managers. Training managers. Training okay. Management. Okay. okay. 
Um, all right, so let's just look at her. She's again written articles. You can start with that. Yeah, lessons in people management, armed forces. And maybe you want to pick up an article which is somewhat relevant to your business also. Training or something is there, you know. So yeah, so you know, maybe people management is not that great, but maybe some other stories. Oh, maybe she can. This is interesting one, right? Movie. The movie is one of being strongly brilliant, really told. Yeah, so you know, just pick up that. Hey, I saw your uh, post about the twelve angry men. And it's one of my favorite movies. And what the best way to start the conversation, right? How many of you have seen Twelve Angry Men? Movie? No? Watch it. Beautiful movie. Ek ruka hua faisla dekha hai? Ek ruka hua faisla? Yeah. So it's the English version of that. Usi ki base pe Hindi mani hai. Beautiful movie. So yeah, maybe you want to just Google Twelve Angry Men. <laughs> what is that movie all about? Even if you don't have time to watch it. Just see, hey, I saw that Twelve Angry Men. And I love what you said about this, this, this. So imagine your the conversation is starting on a, such a positive and such a personal note, then professional, right? What else can? These are those people who don't get affected personal notes. Huh? These are those people who don't get affected personal notes. Really? Yes. Yeah. Like there's always a way. I'm telling you, there's always a better way to connect. <laughs> there's always a better way. Okay. No, but that that again, remember guys, the attention is called attention. For a reason. Okay? It's just an attention and that's a span that you need. Don't just dive into the discussion long long detail. It could be a turn off. And you don't even know me. And you're just going on and on. Hey, 12 angry men, this 12 minutes. Uh, okay, relax. What, what is everybody calling for? Okay, so attention is only that span. 10 seconds, 20 seconds. And then just quickly, swiftly move on to your, what is the purpose of the call? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can probably do some voluntary. Yeah, volunteer, see? Yeah, volunteer. Uh, speak, my okay. You just want to probably want to read what's, Speak Mecca is, you know, before you call. Yeah. So, something other you will get it, you know, from the profile. If not here, maybe Facebook. Yeah. Most of the posts are there. Yeah. Okay. So, these are the two things that you really want to keep in mind when you're making a cold call script. First is, show me that you know me. It means you've done some background research about your own, you know, your client. What are they into, business and all? And the second is, what's in it for me? All right, let's talk about hook. Okay. How many people don't know what is hook on a cold call? If you don't know, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. So hook is something. You like when you're fishing. You know, there has to be. That you know, fish's mouth, that hook, so that you can pull that fish. Cold calling, the hook means that there's something so heavy which is deep inside in their guts, it's to stuck and they're so in pain to know what is it. Like, in other words, there are some big claims that you're making that has really changed a lot of their competitors' lives or their friends or relatives, whoever's lives. And they're salivating to see what is it, you know, and then so it's like a teaser. At the same time, it's so strong that yeah, that movie too I need to watch only. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> all right. So let's just talk about hook. And now there will be a small exercise also. You all have to figure out your own hooks. Okay, and I'll give you an example of what are the hooks. The statements like. Okay, before you even go to the statements, let's just talk about what, what exactly is hook. Okay? Average doesn't excite anybody, right? You guys, nobody in this room wants to be an average salesperson or a businessman. And that's why you're here. If you were average, you would have probably not found me. You would have never, even if you found me, you would have not registered. If you were registered, you would have not even come on your weekend. So it clearly shows that you guys are not average. 
you're extraordinary. Nobody wants average. I don't want average life. I don't want average health. I don't want average financial conditions. I don't want average family. I don't want average movies. I don't want average food. None, nothing in my life I want average. So when you're on cold calls, you need to be extraordinary. Your claims has to be extraordinary. It cannot be, hey, I can save you 500 rupees. It has to be, I can save you 500. How? Okay, it's not like I can help you double your income. Yeah, double is still good. Maybe 10% is bad, but double is good. But yeah, you need to have a difference in what industry you are in. <laughs> but you know, the claim has to be really big, juicy, monster claims that makes the person think, oh, I want to hear that. Hey, what is it? Like what Dipen mentioned, right? You can increase your income by 3%, you said, right? Revenue by 3%, right? Now, if I'm listening to this, and when you start your conversation, you know, brilliant greeting, you caught my attention, you said, hey, I'm wonderful, <laughs> I'm a good writer, whatever it is you said, okay? And then you quickly transition, hey, look, reason why I called today is, we're helping your competitors, I was talking to XYZ, and we have helped them triple their revenue and then time bounded. Don't just say we tripled revenue. Okay, that's all me. Be all me. Okay, we triple the income or the revenue in just three months or whatever. Whatever is realistic in your industry. But if you don't have that juicy hook right in the beginning, whatever effort that you put in, you sound beautiful, you've been you know amazing, different, you build a you know you got my attention, but what are you gonna do with that attention? If you have that hook so strong, you 90% of the job is done. It's only the formality that you have to probably close in to get an appointment. Okay, so hook very, very, very vital. And this is where a lot of, lot of uh, you know, sales people fail. And then they think that, oh, customers are bad. Company is bad. My product sucks. No, man, it's you. <laughs> it is you who suck. Okay, everything is happening in your life is not is it's you who doesn't know how to sell it's you who has not trained is you who has not practiced is you who doesn't know the value of hooks so if you don't know obviously you will not like what you're doing right if you're not getting success out of cold calling would you enjoy it no now all the flirting and all will be out of the window <laughs> if you don't have hook you know you give the compliment, hey, you're the best voice I heard since morning. Oh, amazing, where you've been. <laughs> if you use all that statement and if you don't have hook and if you don't get an appointment, trust me, your N2 will go down, down, and down. And you'll become negative that, hey, it's gone. Yes? Is there a risk in like, mentioning stats? Like, uh, let's say, like, uh, it helps some other company, you know, include the revenue three times per. Yeah. Like, uh, what if it backfires? Like, is the client does? When we like to make claims to them that yes. the competitors have been you know, like uh, following these things and yeah. they have like succeeded in the last three months. Yes. Profit making has been the case in like their part. So like what if the client, you know, ask like tell me that that number or tell me which company? Great, great question. Brilliant question. Okay. Now again you need to check within your own organization if your business, how much can you reveal and how much you cannot. Analysis okay. Has to be done. Analysis has to be done. So you be ready with that. Either can you disclose the name? Yes, no. If you have the reference, person is agreed. Yeah, you can use my reference. Then Bindas use it. Okay. Sometimes if you, if huh. we are just you know trying to take that just to. Grab <laughs> I hear what you're saying. <laughs> yes. In that case. Yeah. In no. In that case, you have to sound realistic. Okay. There will always be a little bit of here and there gray area. We know it, and they also know it. Okay. It's not. It's not that they're living in alien world. They know it. Okay, we are salespeople, we'll do this claim. But, I mean, what is, what is WWE? It is all fake. But don't you think people are crazy about it? People, they'll watch it. They know it's fake. Right? As a kid, I knew it was, I, I thought it was real. <laughs> Undertaker and all. Oh, oh man, they're killing each other, blood and all. <laughs> but now, despite of we knowing we still enjoy WWE, a lot of people still watch it. They pay a lot of money. There's a craze. Same way, our customer also know that there will be an element of we faking, okay? But now as a salesperson or a business guy, it's your art on how you can make it realistic. 
okay don't you know throw some numbers which is like ah, crazy nobody can believe it it has to be in the range double triple maybe in, again depends from industry some time and we can just discuss about your specific industry later and what should be your you know hook or big claim we can discuss that and no problem but yeah if you uh, if you're not sure don't throw names we can just say hey, one of your competitor one of the largest in this this we did this this tell me more about it then you need to back the story okay saying hey they had problem in this this and this and we did this this and this and they loved us you need to have that story okay if you don't have that story it's no problem okay but honestly i've seen 60% 70% people don't even ask they just buy the hook they listen yeah they you know, don't ask okay how did you do it okay there will be few who may ask but most of the time they don't even ask okay so that is just the hook which is already deep and then you quickly transition into it to your closure you know great again to your point over promise and over deliver okay lot of people say hey, i want to under promise and i want to over deliver but in sales it's not like that and by default i will always over deliver and if i'm not over delivering as a business i will any which is not scale right rather than why do i underplay then i know i'll do everything possible if somebody signing me up as mentor or buying my program i will always want to over deliver it so i will always over promise what is my claim for this session what did i claim my claim is this is mastering the cold call you will master it you know if you read that thing i truly believe in it that's my big claim it's going to transform your cold calling which i truly believe in it and i'll over deliver it you know if i'm not able to satisfy completely here i will do a follow up one on one coaching by the way there will be few people i'll do one on one coaching as well for one hour okay and then few t-shirts also we going to give away is a um, gesture is only earned by people who are contributing to calls <laughs> so yeah so you part of that you already contributed so yeah so you need to have the big claim commit and over deliver and that's the way to do it and that's how you're different right otherwise how you be different we all agree right we need to be different that's how we do the different believe in your claim okay you have to first believe it as i mentioned that the biggest sale that you can do in your life is selling yourself to the degree you are sold you will be able to sell okay so that you have to truly truly believe in your claim you know when even if you're faking it you have to truly believe it your sound your passion your enthu it has to reflect on that tone you know if i ask you okay how did you help? uh um gone that means you yourself are not sure you're making it up and they'll sniff it that's it so this requires practice this requires you know you can do you know um mock calls within yourself record yourself listen to yourself how you sounding it is that person thinking that i'm confident you know am i coming across as a confident person would did that buy buy what i'm trying to say okay and then there will be a couple of questions which i'm going to um share later which will even validate some tough questions i am sure you know nobody would have thought of those questions or tried those questions um most important aspect talk about the awesome things that you've done for this okay i want to start my pitch from there like in your case you want to start with the greeting and say hey look we have health companies like yours or xyz company if you can throw the names to increase their revenue by 3 times in just 6 months that's where i start i don't start with who am i what i do why am i wonderful where am i based how many kids do i have <laughs> i don't start from there what 90% of the people if you look across your peer circle they are doing that and that's a big turn off okay going back to those question what's in it for me what's in it for the customer that's the biggest question so your awesome things has to be done for others and it has to be quantified quantify your claim with the timeline get okay. this this time may i have you done that right in your case in training what would be the claim that you can think of We, we do have a uh, couple of uh, predefined products like i said yeah it's getting what the city is doing we like to pitch it out but uh, as these products are not been uh, sold in detail hmm. so we try to make it out no but you training them on certain saps and all those after, things right yeah because after the training uh, what do i get as a as a benefit if i am taking your training it's a life training because uh, yeah. people who need to speak 
they come from a domain like production. Yeah. And we try to get them into IT. Like right. IT. Yeah. So the whole life changes. Life changes. Can you quantify that? It's quantified. In terms. Yes. If my life changed, look. We, we, okay, for example, I'm just doing a hypothetical example, okay, like, you know, we, we worked with one of the gentlemen who was like an engineer or whatever, product development like you, and his life really changed. He's got, he's got X, Y, Z, you know, he increased his income by five times, and he's enjoying what he's doing, he loves time, revenue, income, whatever the benefit that got within that month. Like people who have transformed from Tata uh, Motors to KPI. Uh, working in Germany on the international project awesome. for the last four years or five years. So we do give that kind of example, which makes the person feel that today, no matter where I am, I have a I chance to go. So Big claim. So okay. That's how selling dreams come into the future. Awesome. Awesome. So you need to start with that, huh? by the way. It should not come later part because you, you have the very small window. It's an audition. Okay. It's not a you know, complete show. You need to start with your best. Hey, look, I understand you are product development or product manager. Uh, we are the only company in the world. We're the only company in the world. We have transformed people's life and they're getting their job in Germany and they're making 10 times the money that they're making here and they've even relocated. You know, I remember Ram Babu, Sham Babu, whatever. <laughs> See, this is something which will make me curious, right? Okay. I'm not here to say, what are you selling? Are you selling training? I'm not, I'm not here. My, that is not the hook. The hook is what benefit my peers got or others in you know, using your services got. Like in market research, right? What benefit when I went, you know, event, right? Quantify, right? You say that you, you use the greeting, okay? You got the attention that, hey, innovation, I love what you're doing. You know what? I have a great news for you. We have an amazing uh, work, uh, what do you have? Conference, amazing conference coming up just next corner or whatever, you know, just near. And, and you know what? The people who have attended that, they've given amazing feedback that they have really grown to get promotions or whatever, quantify if you can. But you need to paint that picture. Okay, you're not selling conference. You, need to rem you know, remember, you're not selling your product. You're selling the benefits or the values which are coming out of it. You're not selling market research. You're selling the revenue that they will generate out of the insight that you will provide. Getting it? Right? So, in, in short, in other, in other ways, it, you're, not, you're not selling a drill. You're selling a hole. Right? You're buying a drill, but to do what? Hole. So, in short, you're selling a hole. His ability to drill the wall, you're not selling the it's drill. It's like a horse for a nail. You yes. sell the nail and you know the horse will be going with it. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And you can do that, you can say that. But even beyond that, why am I, why, why do I want even nail? <laughs> the benefit out of what I'm getting out of the nail. That's what I want. And the result, yes. Maybe in B2B, in terms of B2B, yeah. people nowadays are so strong in networking, like yeah. they have, you know, former colleagues working in that company, yeah. they have their friends. Yeah, working. don't name them. Don't name the company unless you have really done it. Don't name the company. Hey, we have some confidential agreement which they understand that you cannot disclose certain names like Apple is big big time no no they don't allow their name to be shared the important thing is instead of lying yeah professional ethics they don't usually ask the names so we have some analysis. yeah any mutual funds and investments and all yeah 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 yes you can quantify the claim why not why not? <coughs> yeah. Great. So, <laughs> nee, but that is when you already have the existing customer, right? You're saying stay connected. But here we are cold calling to get new customer. Okay. So, what is? Let's let's hear your pitch. I mean, let's hear your hook. What is your hook or what is your big claim? One thing, you have to be rational. What kind of services you are offering? What the uh, investment product? Uh, but would you do that on a cold call? Uh, like we uh, tell So let's let's do a quick mock call. Okay, I'm the customer. Okay, and you're calling me for uh, the investment. Okay, take it. Start. Hello. Uh, yeah. Uh, am I talking to you today? 
Yeah, it's me. Yeah. I'm um, a little busy. What is it about? I would like to know, uh, like to tell you regarding uh, what course we are offering as far as personal portfolio management. We offer holistic and unbiased solutions for your personal portfolio management, the investment and the insurance part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, I would like to tell you that PNB is like a, a works like a department store wherein we have all sorts of products as well as investments and insurance. But they will be catered to your requirements and achieving your goals in life. So for that, I would. Uh, no, I'm not interested. Thank you. I think I'm. I've done good for my life, and I've invested good money. I think I'm covered. Thank you. Well, uh, uh, usually we go into the entire details uh, of how far you have. Are you saying or your no, cold call? I think you gave me a brief. Oh, you have entered in the call. I entered in the cold call. I'm the real guy. <laughs> Okay, so here's here's my okay. Let let's just do a quick survey. Okay, if you're getting this call, okay, out of the blue, how many of you all would say I'm not interested? Be honest, not interested. Okay, anybody rationalization? Why? Uh, at times it's like uh, not the right time. Yeah. Or maybe it doesn't interest me. Okay. Uh, or uh, when the call comes, I find it's like a telecaller calling me. Yeah. Really yeah. Interested. Okay. So most of the time, the uh, telecom guys they do. They have a very different pitch. Mm -hmm. They talk. Mm -hmm. uh, the script, you know, what they read. Yeah, out. yeah. So, I don't so here's it. the thing, right? See, there is a preconceived notion about certain jobs and certain sales, right? If I'm getting a call from a Vodafone, my tendency, I am not interested, man. Plan change, not interested. You already preformed the notion. If I'm getting a call from an investment banker, you know, he's saying, calling me and saying, hey, hey, we have best plan. Yeah, wo. What is the preconceived notion? Hey, investment bankers, na, apna bada chada ke batate. Yes, I don't trust them. So, bada chada ke nahi that's what I'm saying. No, that's a different way. See, that's a preconceived notion that people have. I'm, I'm coming to that, what to say. <laughs> this is preconceived notion that we have, which always hampers us, right? See, our buying decisions are based on the historic experiences that we have. If you had good experience with good bankers, then you will have more likely of paying attention. Okay, but if you have don't don't have good experience or good you know things, you'll you'll end up saying no. You have made some bad decisions, some investment didn't work. Yeah, you realize so it, it will be always prejudiced. Now let's say if I say this, um, Aparna, right? Okay. Hey Aparna, this is Dave calling from X Y Z Investment. How are you? Great. Apana, look, I know you're a busy person. I'll just take a minute of your time. Look, I was talking to one of your uh, neighbor, Sharmishta, and uh, you know she invested in the stock, and she's getting 10 times return than what you're doing. But look, I know you would not believe what I'm saying. Okay? Can you give me 10 minutes, and I can explain what exactly happened and why she is reaping the benefit? There's no guarantee, of course, that you'll make exact money like that. Can you give me 10 minutes? Does it sound more? we do this 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 we do this, we do this. no that is a turn off okay the hook is this okay i'm making a big claim i believe in my product and i know that she did she got 10 times return again i'm not from the industry so i don't know nitty gritties of it you can tweak your big to be there your company does how great how wonderful you are it's about what did you do for my player my competitor my friend a colleague or other people in the same domain and see what are you trying to do you're not trying to sell investment on the first call it's very difficult as i told you you're not selling so what are you trying to sell you're selling that person on time can i get 10 minutes 15 minutes with that person then you go in with your best presentation and then you explain why what not this just as i said this is just an audition that the small window you get to maximize what you can do, right? That's one of the way you're doing it. It depends also on uh, uh, its right time and right match also. Yeah. Because at times people are uh, not comfortable taking up all or listening to you. Yeah. They may say no. Yeah. But at times there are people who may say yes also because it's a need. Yeah. They require. Yeah. Yeah. No, but there's an art, right? I I don't completely buy that. Yes. There is uh, there's an element where maybe I'm you know in my own la la land and I don't want to listen to anybody's call. It's always there. But see, that's the art of a salesperson to catch his attention. 
hey dude you missing 10 times the investment huh how would you like to you know increase your salary by 10 times huh switch off the television what is that i'm going to tell you more let's get on a call <laughs> i mean it will come with practice it will come with you know proper you know cold call script and again the conviction plays a huge huge role okay in your pitch i still see when i said I'm not interested maybe you backed off ha ye to nahi lega not interested and that prejudice and that kills your deal what did i say buyer is a buyer till he becomes a buyer and some day he will become a buyer right even if i say hey, look i am not busy hey look i understand that you 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 right now you're busy to understand how you can increase your income i understand you're busy to understand how you can increase your income 10 times how about evening 6 o'clock you still got a time you still got a time okay uh, okay give me 6 o'clock great here's what i'm going to do okay and we're going to we're going to come into a different flow of how to lock it down how to close it okay Okay, great. I'm going to send you an invite or whatever. If it works, if it's a professional B2B, send an invite, lock the calendar. If it is, um, you know, individual, I don't know how you guys are doing it. How, how do you book your appointment? You send invite or something or? I don't know. We book on the phone. They can meet there. Okay, so you go physical on site. Yes. Okay, so it has to be face to face. Okay, great. Great. No problem. Look, I understand that you are in so and so area. Can I just drop by for quick five minutes? And I promise this will be the best investment of five minutes. I'm just coming to share the insights without any expectation. Okay, just five minutes, ten minutes, and it's up to you. You know, once you show up, he cannot throw you out. <laughs> right? So that's an art that you need to you know learn. It's not just the cold call. Just not who how great, wonderful you are. Okay, great. But I like your question. Okay, guys, if you have any question, if you don't agree to some portion, or if you want to know how does it apply to me. just speak up okay so that we clarify then and there because i will not know what your what is going in your head okay but yeah quantify your claim okay that whatever sharma star champa sheela she got 10 times the investments <laughs> quantified within just 2 years or 3 years whatever the realistic window is and we are the only we are the only financial institute in your neighborhood that is capable of delivering this now i'm not going to go and sit and validate is there somebody else also okay but you need to have that belief okay that we are the only then is how why prove me then you say this this and this then you need to be ready with that right? when you making big claim you need to be ready with your justification why you are the best okay i am the best because i personally work with that person i am available 24/7 i am the one at the risk okay i am the one who is liable and accountable when your investment doesn't give you money i cannot sleep at night if your money is not working for you I mean come on you need to have that faith and belief and over promise and over deliver that's why you're best nobody else tata aig is whatever it is nobody will work like me <laughs> nobody will serve you like i do okay so that has to be there in sleeping okay so we i think we already discussed this reason why i'm calling because i'm working with your competitor of yours and help them save reduce or address whatever it is so you need to have that your big claim big statement right after you catching that person's attention okay not describing your company and all those things that's the mistake we we make usually so let's do a quick exercise okay why don't you tell me about your own hook why don't you want to give it a shot yes sir um so uh... No, no. Just start. You got my attention. You made me happy about my article and all. <laughs> okay. So uh, we recently uh, helped um, your competitors reduce uh, uh, meeting and uh, I will say something like that. And uh, so if, if uh, we can help you with the same, uh, you have five minutes. To Sorry, you re- you help my competitor reduce by uh, by seventy percent. Reduce my office cost. by yeah, his uh, meeting rooms and training uh, recruitment costs yeah. by 70% 70% yeah. in how much time uh in his last meeting and just last one meeting uh like if it's because like if he's booking with us then it's going to be for each of his booking per meeting yeah per meeting 
Oh, you you sell for meeting, not like on long term. You probably do it long term also. Okay, okay. Okay, I like that. But what you want to tweak is the way you say it. Yeah. Okay, there are a lot of pauses when you're saying it. You need to practice it. It should come smooth. Okay, and it has to be like <clears throat> I am the man. I am Tom. <laughs> Okay, so it has to come like that. Hey, you know what? You may, you will be really surprised. Okay, you start with that. I was talking to one of uh, I was working with one of this so and so, and 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 they were so happy after I helped them reduce their seventy percent of the cost. And content. I can do exactly that for you. And suppose they've been working for the last three months. We can say over the last three, over the period of the yes. last three months. Yes, absolutely. Over the last period of three months, we held them save, reduce their conference cost by 70%, up to 70%. If we can quantify, nothing like that, which was 10 lakhs or whatever. Okay, that's what I want to hear. If I'm the guy who wants the rooms, and you, assuming that you've done some pre-research on me, what what is my business and what am I doing, then I can relate to it. Okay, ah, okay, 70%. Me chal rabi. Okay, my investment is 20 lakhs. It's a quick calculation. If I'm a Gujarati, I'm fast. <laughs> so 20 lakh or 70 percent, I know. Oh, he can save me this much. Okay, but then you got the hook, and then there's a bridge transition. Okay, but just to make sure that I'm not wasting your time, can I ask you a question? Okay, now what do you what does that mean? That means you value my time. Okay, you respect my time. In your case, also, ma'am. Look, we've done this. I'm not wasting your precious time. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Have you invested? Are you insured? Do you believe in investment? Like just to validate. If not, we all good. Make sense? Yeah, so you do that and then you transition into this. Then you just validate him. Okay, he is right Murga. And then, okay, yes, transition him. <laughs> Let's have... Biryani, <laughs> but no, always never cheat your customers. Uh, this would be applicable for outbound cost marketing. Yeah. Would be applicable for outbound cost. Yeah. But uh, how we can change for inbound? Because clients have already told the requirements. Yeah, yeah. So how can we change it? Inbound. Uh, great. In your case, I think the need is already there. He's already giving you time, right? So the cold call is to get time. Here is you already have a time. So your thing is completely different. How can you, you know, exaggerate the need? How you can quantify the need, and find the pain, build the relevance to their business? How is that? See, they're not buying report. Just try and remember, they're not buying drill. They're buying a hole. So you, got to, you need to understand what is that that they're trying to do with that report. They may be having some bigger initiative, some CEO or CTO will be saying, hey, we're going to go to market in so-and-so XYZ domain. Get some information. That person will run to VP, VP will run to director, director will run to manager, and manager will say, hey, give me the report. But till you don't understand the vision of the VP and CEO and how that bigger piece is being impacted for what they're sourcing the information, till you don't know why they're buying a drill. Is it for the wood? Is it for the cement? Uh, brains? Whatever, I don't know. <laughs> right so you need to find that out and then quantify that and then have some questions like okay what happens if you don't have that information with you <laughs> and if it is yes I will lose my job I'll not be able to do what my CEO CTO has asked then yes you know the the pain is very strong and then you transition it to and then make sure that you know document everything huh? these things whatever is coming out of their mouth, mouth is gold and you need to leverage that when you're in closing cycle later. Okay, in your cases also, that whatever they're sharing, that hey, I do this, I do this. Find out what is it that will tick them, what is it that is important to them, whatever you're selling. So that part has to be there and noted down so you can revisit it. I'll give you an example. I think we're deviating from cold calling, but I think this is very important. Okay, take it as a bonus. <laughs> so there was one, there was one guy um, who was a real estate guy. Okay, and it was a real story buy a house, a big mansion in US somewhere. Um, then he asked, okay, okay, what kind of house you're looking at? He's looking at this, this. What is the purpose and all those things? What are, what are the things that you want? The lady, she said, I, I love green. 
lush green trees, all those things. That sales guy was so smart, and he's showing, the, okay, here's the corridor, here's the balcony, and he said, here's the kitchen, ah, oh, but the kitchen is dirty. Oh, yeah, I understand, but look at the greenery. <laughs> look at the view. <laughs> okay, then they go on in a different room. Uh, look at this. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely, this can be fixed, but look at the amazing view, man. <laughs> so, throughout that conversation, till the end, till they said, yes, <laughs> we want this, <laughs> till that lady's pain or that need was so big that it small small errors in the house of course we all know that guy sold that house right so this is exactly what we should do and we leverage it at the end okay so you find out why 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 you need the report how is it going to help you what happens if you don't buy it and then at the end when he's when it comes to you know closing you say hey look i understand uh, that this is not there but look this is what you